What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Stand a little taller. I probably just lost everyone that clicked on this video. I am Josh Elliott, and today I will be reviewing the movie Stronger, starring Jake Gyllenhaal. Stronger is based off of the real-life story of Jeff Bowman, who lost both of his legs in the Boston Marathon bombing of 2013, and has since gotten, what are they called, robotic legs? He wrote a book about his experience, and now it's been turned into a movie. I literally just saw the movie. My dad was driving on the way back, and I was, like, looking up the story, and most of the stuff that happened in this movie is true. Jeff Bowman is a regular Boston guy working at Costco and he's in a weird relationship with his girlfriend because they always are getting back together and then breaking up and they're currently broken up but he decides to go to the Boston Marathon to cheer her on because she is running in it. But then one of the bombs goes off in the infamous Boston Marathon bombing. He loses both of his legs but he saw the bomber and he's actually one of the main reasons that people found the bomber in the first place. That plus the fact that he's recovering from losing both of his legs causes people to basically hail him as a hero. But he doesn't really feel like a hero. He doesn't like media attention, and his family is encouraging the media attention. It's a little too much for him, and he starts to go into depression. It's really all about that and how it affects his relationship with his girlfriend, played by Tatiana Maslany. This is a really good movie. When I first saw the trailer, I really didn't have an intention to see it because it looked pretty cheesy. It looked just like your typical, woo, survivor story. But no, this story actually gets really dark in terms of what this recovery was like for him. It's not just a recovery story. It's a story about severe depression and PTSD as well. Because the world loves him so much and because he's such this huge symbol that people look up to, even though he doesn't feel like he really did anything, it's a little much for him. And there's a scene, apparently Jeff Bowman waved a flag at a hockey game once. I know nothing about sports. But yeah, he waved a flag at the beginning of a hockey game and he breaks down in the elevator after it. It's the first time he's been surrounded by so many people at this large public event since the marathon. It even gets pretty dark in terms of what his depression does to his relationships with his family and with his girlfriend. There's a scene where he is sitting in the back of a car. Him and his girlfriend and his mom are having this huge argument and his girlfriend starts yelling at him. He is being very selfish about this whole situation. He's just so sad about what happened to him and he's so sad about all the attention he's getting that he's kind of forgetting to thank all of these other people changing their lives so much because of what happened to him, and he's forgetting to acknowledge that. This is one of the reasons why I think Stronger is such a good movie, is because it's willing to take everything into perspective from all of the characters' points of view, and it's honest about that. His mom is such a great character. She keeps giving him so much attention, and she keeps encouraging so much attention. She's really blind to the fact that he doesn't want any of it, and so I kept getting frustrated at her. Miranda Richardson, who plays her, she's so genuine in her portrayal of the mom that you can't help but see her perspective. There's a line where she says, I just want the world to see how great my son is. I felt bad for her, even though I'm supposed to be rooting for Jeff and his girlfriend. Now, Stronger does have a tendency to get a little too overly sentimental at times. There's a moment near the end, it's like the third or fourth time that a person has like thanked him in the movie and they're giving this big speech. Everyone around them starts watching in this public place and I started cringing because it was a little too overly sentimental. But most of the sentiment mental moments in this movie are pretty earned. Tatiana Maslany is great as Aaron. She is fantastic. Jake Gyllenhaal, he is one of the best actors out there today. He is one of my favorite actors. I have seen like nearly 10 of his movies and he's great in every single one of them. The visual effects are also good. The effects that they use for his legs are really convincing. The thing that stood out to me most in this movie that I was not expecting at all was the directing. This movie is very character focused. And to show that, the camera is literally focused on the actors. There are so many moments in the movie that are just static long shots. Close-ups of the actors just acting and feeling emotion and it's just beautiful. The one that stands out most to me is the scene where Jeff is getting his bandages unwrapped in the hospital. The shot is an over the shoulder of him, but his head is turned because he's looking at his girlfriend. So you can see both of their faces on the sides of the shot, and it's focused on them, but you can also see his legs. It's not focused on his legs, but you can see enough what's happening to them, but you're really focused on their reactions to what is happening. And it's a brilliant moment. And there are so many other 
moments like that in the movie where it's just moments that could have been focused more on what's happening, but they chose to focus it on the characters and how it's affecting them. And I thought that was a really effective choice. The actors in the movie are so good, they managed to definitely pull off those close-ups very well. Stronger is not a fantastic movie. I didn't love it, but I thought it was really good. It was a really effective character piece. It was a really effective survivor story. And it was a really effective story on guilt and depression and media attention. It just tackles all of these subjects so well. It has some great performances, some great directing. It is a little overly sentimental, but overall it's a good movie. So I'm gonna give it an eight. So what did you think of Stronger? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Do you think Jake Gyllenhaal is gonna get nominated for an Oscar for this movie? I feel like he might. I feel like he'll definitely get a Golden Globe nomination, maybe like a BAFTA as well. Oscars, time will only tell. Please like and subscribe and tell me what you think of the review. Please tell me in the comments. Please like and subscribe and tell me what you think of this review. Bye guys.